Hey nerds, it's Tiri. Welcome back to my show. Today's topics include the World of Warcraft Chronicle pre-order, Hearthstone Whispers of the Old Gods expansion, the Overwatch Hearthstone card back, how to get Lady Liadrin an alternate paladin hero for Hearthstone, and a little bit about the World of Warcraft Legion Order Hall bodyguards. Dark Horse has released their hardcover of World of Warcraft Chronicles. It's the beginning of a multi-part series covering the World of Warcraft universe and how it was shaped. This is pre-Alliance and Horde, about the forces that shaped Azeroth and its people. In this book, you will find 25 full-page paintings by Peter Lee, cosmology art, and maps of Azeroth showing how the land has changed over time. There's much more if you want more information or if you want to pre-order your copy check the link in the description. World of Warcraft Chronicles Volume 1 is available in the Blizzard Gear Shop for $39.99, or you can pre-order from Amazon. If you do it now, you get 40% off, which makes it $23.99. Blizzard has announced a new Hearthstone expansion coming, Whispers of the Old Gods. In this expansion, you will have 134 new cards available to you. The Old Gods have been sleeping for millennia and are waiting to corrupt your gameplay, creeping and lurking into the tavern ready to take over your deck. Four of the old gods that will be available are Sithan, Yogg-Saron, Charge, and Enzoth. Those are weird names, and I might be saying them wrong. You can see the cards so far and the cinematic video for Whispers of the Old Gods and the links. Links are everywhere. If you pre-order a 50 card Whispers of the Old Gods card pack for $49.99, you will also receive this fancy card back in honor of the expansion. Speaking of Hearthstone, if you have pre-ordered your Origins edition of Overwatch, upon logging into Hearthstone, you will have access to the Overwatch card back. You will get a pop-up letting you know as soon as you log into Hearthstone. They just released a new Hearthstone patch, giving you more card slots, tavern brawls, and they added deck recipes, which will help new players create decks. That's pretty awesome. I wish they did that a long time ago, because, you know, I think I'm forever a Hearthstone noob. It's just a thing, okay? But I think the best part about this patch is that now when you reach level 20 in World of Warcraft, you will unlock Lady Liadrin, an alternate paladin hero you can play in Hearthstone. Now this reward is not given to players who already have a level 20 or higher character in World of Warcraft. You have to reach level 20 on a character after March 11th, which is definitely now because it's March 15th. Players who are thinking about playing World of Warcraft but don't know if they want to pay for it yet, you can actually get this achievement without paying for the game because you can do the trial and reach level 20, then earn the fledgling hero of Warcraft achievement, which then gives you Lady Leadrin. The super motivating Lady Leadrin cinematic is here if you'd like to check that out. It is rather inspiring. And also you can hear some of the in-game voiceover of Lady Leadrin in the link in the description. On to actual World of Warcraft gameplay news. For Legion specifically, Blizzard is updating the mana cost indicator in Legion to show you how much mana the spell you're casting is going to take by fading that part of your blue mana bar. I love this. I've seen this in other games and I love it. It's so simple yet so handy. The last topic of today is the World of Warcraft Legion follower and bodyguard system. Many of you have asked me while watching me play the alpha, are they going to have followers in Legion or are they going to have garrisons? No, I've said before, they're not really going to have garrisons, but the class order hall is kind of a replacement for that. Uh, as far as the followers go, you will have a table where you can deal with your followers that you have found in the world and earned, and they correspond with your class, not necessarily your spec. I haven't had a chance to play around with this. That's why so many people have asked me because I haven't reached level 100 and it appears that you have to be level 100 to use these followers and bodyguards, at least in the alpha. Many of the followers can be your bodyguards but not all. You can browse Wowhead's database of the bodyguards in the link in the description by your class. However, not all of them will share your specs, so keep that in mind when you're searching. The bodyguards have abilities, just like in Draenor, but they've also added equipment slots. Some examples of equipment are the Traveler's Backpack, which gives your follower the ability to bring back a random item, which totally reminds me of the Final Fantasy XIV retainers who can go on field explorations and bring you back rando cool shit. They can equip climbing spurs, which gives them a little easier time when they are traveling over mountains. A Felsworn gas mask, which apparently makes them immune to fell corrupted air. I'm sure there will be many more equipment items to come, 
We'll just have to wait and see. Check Wowhead's link in the description to see more about followers and bodyguards. Well, that is my show for today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Definitely check back every Wednesday now again for news and gaming videos in between. I live stream twice a week, at least two scheduled times a week. I always try for more, but I'm a busy lady. Check my Twitch page for my streaming schedule. Please do drop me a like. Subscribe if you haven't already and share my videos. Comment if you have any comments on anything that I've talked about today. And guys, I hope to see you soon here back at my YouTube channel or at my live streams. But until then, take care of yourselves. I love you all. Talk to you soon. Bye.